All right, so a little update on the V10 build. We got a wicked deal on a three valve engine. Uh, a bit of an ordeal getting out of the truck. Uh, and getting things into our shop because one, I can't go high enough because of our low roof with our engine crane to actually pick it out of the truck because it was put on a pallet and on top of a rim so I don't have much uh, room. Also got a snagged a set of uh, OBX uh, headers. OBX is pretty shit quality. Uh, I would say they're the, almost the bottom of the bottom tier but at least it's a flange and some pipes and bends so hopefully the flanges line up. Um, I know in the past we've had shit fucking uh, luck with OBX and cheap manifolds but maybe this one will be fine. I don't care. It was 80 bucks for the set. So I'm pretty happy and then I just need to go buy another set and then I can add on to that one because it's, you know, five, five banks on each side because it's a V10, but the uh, exhaust uh, spacing is the exact same. So yeah, we've got it on. We've got the scale on. So what do you guys think this weighs? Now this is a fully dressed engine. Um, you couldn't really get more dressed than this because it even has, I think, oil in it and uh, you know, it's got a little bit of coolant still on the block, it's still got power steering, it's got that whatever block for power steering fluid, whatever it is, I'm not too sure. It's still got the AC compressor, it's got the big clutch fan, uh, the alternator's on, the intake manifold's on, the manifold, exhaust manifolds are on. Um, so yeah, I'm quite curious what this thing weighs. So Scott, what do you think it's going to weigh? 750. Mmm. So, so we've zeroed the weight because I have this just egg in there so we don't have the, uh, the weight on it. So she's still not even really moving at 300 pounds. Oh, I think I don't have this in far enough. This is the little, uh, that guy there. There we go. Now we're going up. Oh. Oh. Oh, my. So the internet put this engine at 600 pounds and maybe it's got 100 pounds in manifolds and accessories because we are at 718 pounds. She's a heavy engine. Now you have to compare this to the Coyote V8. I was within five which, uh, pounds. You said 750. No, I said 713. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> fuck. I probably should have just zeroed out the, uh, the little, uh, uh, balancing chain thing. The load leveler. Because I had that on, but there was still a little bit of weight of the chain link, so it might have actually made the difference. But yeah, comparing this to the Coyote V8, which is fully dressed, and these engines are very comparable in power. Uh, the V10 has more torque, but a little less horsepower. That has less torque, a little more horsepower. In a drag race, I, that would probably win, though, because it's just a more high-revving performance engine. This is a boat anchor, but uh, it's my boat anchor. Uh, so yeah. That's interesting. So we'll have to see uh, once we kind of lighten this engine up what we can get her to for uh, for weight, the uh, before and after. So yeah, 717 pounds. Whew. That's uh, that's pretty much like 300 pounds heavier than the Coyote V8. Man, so that's like two Coyote V8s, you know. <laughs> But I guess it doesn't have all the clutch fan. That one doesn't have an AC compressor. It doesn't have, or it has exhaust manifolds on, but they're a light tube style because I made them like a super thin log manifold. This thing still has little downpipes. It still has, uh, yeah, that probably 15 pound clutch fan. All those AC lines, AC compressors, probably another 20 pounds. And, and then there's those motor mounts. This, as you can see, they're freaking gigantic with a huge slug of rubber versus the super small lightweight ones I have on the Coyote V8. So, you know, this probably an honest 10 pounds amount. And yeah, this is a gigantic alternator. 
Uh, it's a huge intake manifold, although granted it's plastic. Uh, I'm curious though to weigh the two valve and see how much the weight difference is because, uh, yeah, it's got plastic uh, valve covers and a little other stuff that kind of might make it lighter. Uh, it's also got this steel water pump as I believe the 5.4 liters and the uh, 4.6s all have aluminum ones. So that's kind of uh, interesting. So, so yeah. Uh, unit, so yeah, we're kg, yeah, 326 and 718. 